after I do <laughs> everywhere is I usually take my photos outside because of um, lighting and all of that. I don't have artificial light lighting yet. And I know that sunlight is good enough. So um, I think I will show you guys the finished look. I got this soap from this new vendor that I um, bought this set of perfumes. She sells soaps and I got them. I wanted to like do a test run to see if it's worth selling. But I opened one and well these cockroaches <laughs> are crying. So I opened one and I'm not particularly pleased. First of all, it doesn't smell as luxurious as I would have wanted. I mean, the packaging is pretty basic, but I was hoping the smell and color would give it away, like would um, take it all the way, what I can't, whatever the English is. But it doesn't really, I don't know, it smells basic. It smells like basic washing and soap, and it looks like basic washing and soap. The, the one I opened is white. This is the one I opened for moisture. For moisture, because I mean my skin is pretty dry, so I tend to go for moisturizing soaps. I was hoping that it would be the same color as like the packaging. Sorry, um, I was hoping that okay, like maybe the rose one would be red. This lavender one would be what color is this? This lilac. No, I'm not that good at colors. There's a honey one. I was hoping like you know at least the colors would resemble the packaging design. But it didn't come out like that. It came looking white. So I, I cut it into two just so that it will last more. So it's just it's basically just like this. I cut out this amount, so it just it's just like this weight. I can't remember what was written on it. It looks so basic so I'm stuck I'm still using a shower I've only used it for like two days now so I'm going to use it for a while to see if it actually works um, I I don't know I'll, I'll try and I took pictures of them shower I might still put it out just in case anybody wants and all of that if not I'll just I'm stuck with this for the next four months. I believe that one would last me a month. I got them at 1,000 Naira each. If it's good enough, I would send one to my mom and then like keep three and use this three. I don't mind using it for myself, but I don't want to put out anything. I don't want to send out anything to anybody that would not please them. So, yeah. So this is my audition monologue chord. They gave me the one that has four pages. And I'm trying my best to memorize memorize at least it, the bulk of it so that when I start reading my script, I'm not like when I start um, when I do my audition, I'm not um, I'm not reading from the script. I feel like that will make um, <laughs> make an impression, I guess. I didn't get the part. 
but I'm so proud of myself for trying and all of that. Only for me to get a message on Instagram like three weeks, I think about three weeks later, that congratulations, you got a role to so and so and you're playing to so and so part. And it was a fun experience for me and I'm really proud of myself for taking that, that step because I've been so reluctant to try out acting auditions. I remember how hard modeling, starting modeling was for me. So <laughs> I'm just like, what if, what if, what if you don't get, what if, what if, what if you don't get, you know? But I've been living with this philosophy, even in my modeling career, that it's better to try and fail than to not try at all. So at the beginning of the year, I said I was really going to put myself out there to go for more acting auditions. I missed an audition last month, and I still regret it till today. I, I wish I had just gone. You know, even if it's to go and, and hear no, better to just try. So I'm really proud of myself for taking this step. Um, it was really fun. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So fingers crossed. I'm hoping for the best. Today's Tuesday, 28th February. We had our general presidential elections um, last Saturday, and. <laughs> You are a Nigerian, you know what's going on right now, so I'm really hopeful, really, really hopeful. You know, in eight years, I would no longer be in my 20s, so things really need to change. We can't have so much potential and just be, and just have it waste, you know, so I'm really hopeful. I, maybe by the time this video is uploaded, we would know who our next president is. Well, other than that, I've just been at home. I haven't been going out for safety reasons. And I've been trying as much as possible to read because school is on break. By the time we resume, we would have just about two to three weeks before our exams. And that is my last exam in school. So I have to be prepared for it. few days since my last shoot i think it today make today or tomorrow makes it a week look at my honor <laughs> it's almost off it didn't last as long as i thought it was going to which i'm glad for because i didn't even know i was going to get henna done and mentally i just i don't know i'm not particularly prepared to carry henna for so long so i'm glad that is washing off so fast my hair is so old. I don't think this hair is okay. Actually, it's it's it should, it should, it should be like the third week now, so that makes sense. So I'll probably take that off anytime soon. Um, school is about to resume. I've been enjoying election break so far, uh, but we're about to go back to school now. And God, by the grace of God, next month. I'll be done. So I'm, even though I'm not particularly excited to go back to school, I'm excited that it's my last semester in my school. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching my vlog. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you.